Hello everyone. So today I have with me problem 3.19 from Young and Friedman's University Physics textbook. So this problem is called Win the Prize. In a carnival booth, you can win a stuffed giraffe if you toss a quarter into a small dish. The dish is on a shelf above the point where the quarter leaves your hand and is a horizontal distance of 2.1 meters from this point, figure E3.19. If you toss the coin with a velocity of 6.4 meters per second at an angle of 60 degrees above the horizontal, the coin will land in the dish. Ignore air resistance. A. What is the height of the shelf above the point where the quarter leaves your hand? B. What is the vertical component of the velocity of the quarter just before it lands in the dish? Okay, so... We can, we don't have to draw a diagram because we're given a diagram here, but let's go over it roughly so that we um, can kind of go through the problem and see where we have all of our information. So we said that I'm just going to get a highlighter. Okay, so we said that this is, the velocity is 6.4 6 meters per second at 60 degrees above the horizontal. And we can see that right here. So 60 degrees above the horizontal and that's 6.4 meters. It's a horizontal distance of 2.1 meters from this point and this point being where the quarter leaves your hand. So we can see that right over here, that's 2.1 meters. And we wanna find out what this is what this distance, this vertical height distance is. Okay, so the first thing we can do is we can go ahead and write down all of our knowns. So, oh, let me actually make that black so we can see a little bit better. Okay, so the first thing we can do is we can start with the X component. And we know that we have our VIX, right? So the initial velocity in the X direction which is speed, but it's going to be six point, um, or yeah, initial velocity in the X direction. That's going to be 6.4. The magnitude is 6.4 cos 60. And then we have our distance and that's going to be 2.1 and this is meters per second and this is meters. Um, and then we don't have how long this is going to take, right? Because if it's leaving at 6.4 meters um, per second and it's only traveling 2.1 meters, um, that's that's all of our given and we don't have time. Now for the y direction, we can have our viy, so taking the y component of our initial velocity, which is 6.4 sine 60 meters per second. We don't know what this, I'm gonna write that as dx, we don't know what this dy is, right? So this is what we're looking for. And we don't know what our T is, but we know that obviously these two T's are the same, right? Because if something's traveling, it's not going to take a longer time in one direction than the other time. It's moving, you know, in one motion, in one projectile. So it's going to take the same T, whether it's an X or Y. Um, so then we also have acceleration. And that's negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And that's due to gravity, as we know. So here we want to find out what dy is, um, but we don't really have, we also don't have um, vi, vf, y, but we're going to find that out in part b, so we don't know this. But what's interesting is we can see here that we have one unknown here, right, time, and because both of these times are the same, we can just solve for time in given all the information in our x direction and then plug that into y, right? So, and then we can use that to solve for dy using our, one of our kinematic equations. But let's, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get started on that. So to find t, we, we need to do t is equal to distance over speed, right? And we have 2.1 divided by 6.4 cos 60. And the time I am getting, I'm just going to double check my work, it's 2.1 divided by 6.4 cos 60. And I'm getting t as 0 0.65625.
seconds. Okay, so I'm going to write that down right over here. Oh, six, five, six, two, five seconds. And now we have our we have our time. So note here now we have three knowns and one unknown, right? So we only need really four um we need four parameters for each kinematic equation, right? Or four variables. So the equation we're gonna use is going to be dy is equal to v i y t plus half of a t squared, right? And when we plug this in, we're just going to solve for dy. So it's going to be 6.4 sine 60 times time. And because I, I don't want to write this all down, but that's what's going to be in there. Plus half of negative 0.8 meters per second squared times t squared, right? So again, that 0 0.65625. And when I plug this into my calculator, what I get is 1.527 meters. And also just going to double check that right now. Nine, 60. Yep, that's the value that I'm getting. So our dy is going to be 1.527 meters. Okay. Um, I just remembered something, but um, I'll just quickly draw your attention. Over here, there's often a number of dots. I think this is actually a two blue dot problem. I know that one means that it's super easy and three means it's a little bit more on the challenging side. And then two is kind of in between that. So this is actually a two dot problem. Um, I forgot to fix that. So um, just for your information, not that it really matters, but if you're curious or if that seems, if you've picked up on that pattern and it's not very, um, or if you know it's, di it's different from the textbook. Okay. So now back to problem B, we have our information for problem A. It's going to be 1.527 above the point where we where the quarter leaves our hand. Okay, so now I'm gonna erase this and we're gonna work on part B. So part B, all we're really doing is just solving for V, F, Y. And because we're already given four pieces of information, we already have four pieces of information, we can just use any equation um, that solves for that has VFY in it, and we can um, figure out what that is, right? So there's two that we can actually use in this scenario, but the one that I used is VFY is equal to VIY plus AT. There's also one that goes like VFY squared equals VIY squared plus 2AD. The reason I don't always love using that is actually because when you square both the V, both Vs, then you actually lose information on direction and this one you don't. That's why I like this one. Okay, so I'm going to plug in my values. I have 6.4 sine 60 plus negative 9.8 times t. And with that, I get, just going to double check, 6.4 sine 60 minus 9.8. I get minus 0 0.89 meters per second. So that is the vertical component of the velocity of the quarter just before it lands in the dish. So I'm going to write that down right here in red as well, just to be consistent. So there we have it. That's our solution for problem 3.19 or win the prize. Um, another thing, another note to make is that 
the numbering might not always be consistent depending on which textbook you have, which edition of the textbook. I actually own both editions. So that's why I kind of fluctuate in between of both the numbers. So you might notice that. But the important thing is I have the question up here and you can compare. So yeah, that's our solution. If this was, um, if you have any questions about this, feel free to leave me a comment or send me an email. If this was helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends or your classmates if this is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!